What has been your greatest awakening? Mm. I started having dreams, prophetic dreams, when I was 22. That scared the ever-living, you know, what out of me. And when I was in my early 30s, and I didn't tell anybody about them because they were scary. Um, I would dream something and then it would happen. And it was mostly about people's health. Mm -hmm. And when I was in my early 30s, I met an amazing woman who started talking to me about it and giving me books to read about, about dreams and being, what it all meant, yeah. being conscious yeah. and being awake and all of that. So I think that was the first moment um, that I, I realized that there was something, I think I always felt like there was something bigger, bigger than us. Um, but I couldn't put my finger on it. I grew up in a very religious household, um, but I never felt that feeling when I was sitting in church. And I was, used to tell my mom, I was like, well, I, why can't I go sit on top of a mountain mm -hmm. and feel at one? Um, but this last spring, I picked up, which I shared with you too, I, I picked up Michael Singer's books and then you encouraged me to read Eckhart's books. Uh -huh. And it's, it's almost like it's like on steroids now. It's just uh -huh. gone to a whole uh -huh. other level of being, being present and reverence. Do you call it anything? Do you call it God or spiritual consciousness or does it matter for you? Yeah, I don't think it matters. Uh -huh. I don't think it matters. It really is just about being present. The, the word that has come up more than anything in the last six months is reverence. 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 And I just keep thinking, it's like, when, when will humans start to have reverence? Not only for one another, because you think of all the hor horrific things that humans do to each other, but for the plants and the animals, all of the things that are alive. When, when is that reference going to happen? I feel like people are waking up. You and, and Eckhart talk, talk about that, that it's happening more and more and more. Which is a word he uses too. And what is so extraordinary is that if you live in a space of reverence for the rest of the world, for the people, for the plants, then that is given back to you. You have this revered life, actually. I feel that. Yes.